Okay team, let's give you a little neck and shoulder relief. So find a comfortable seat, however you wanna sit. Take your right arm up, contracting the muscles across your back, and then take your helper hand over and press it on down and slightly across. So I'm just hunting around for where the tension is. I'm trying to get into that tension as I move down. So with no hand, my arm's always going back. And then that helper arm comes across. You can play with how your head and neck are assisting you to get the relief that you're looking for in your neck and shoulders. Also be aware of how your shoulder joint feels. I don't want it to feel too crunchy or unstable here. So stay right in the strength zone. You could even add a little arm extension if you want. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So your arm's swiping back, you're contracting all along the muscles of the back. Arm comes across to help you out and slices it down. Sometimes I imagine like winding up to throw something and then I'm going to slowly toss that ball in a terrible way in slow motion. <laughs> I was never good at softball or whatever, sports in general. I prefer to just be one with my body on the inside. I'm a solo sportist. So let's just try a couple more of these. Again, you can play with how you wanna move your head to support where you're after the stretch. Scratch the itch, as I like to say. Ooh, feels so good. If you're tracking TCM channels, I'm focused on your large intestine meridian. You can do a couple more while I just show you where that is. It runs along the back of your arm. Why did I do thumb? It runs along your index finger, back of the arm. It comes up along the side of the neck. It moves onto your face and it draws a cute little mustache right up to here. So somewhere along that pathway is where we're playing to get a stretch right now. Okay, that was probably enough of those. So now let's move it down into this a small intestine channel area. I'm gonna use my leg as a support, prop my elbow up against it, and then just play around with rotation to start. Just kind of feeling this movement before we add the resistance. Feel free to adjust in your body and your leg to find a comfortable position where you're getting that leverage to press back. And then here comes your helper hand again, sneaking around to the back of your wrist and pressing the arm down. So this stretch is going to feel like it's in a slightly different spot, but still addressing the neck and shoulders. For me, I really start to feel it wrapping around this area, across my shoulder blade, and a little bit into my mid-upper back. Again, you can play with how your torso is supporting this movement. You might ooh, lean a little bit away and fold back in. Or I'm gonna play with reversing it to get that widening across my scapula. Oh, feels so good. Remember to make it juicy. Okay, let's try the other side. So other leg propped up, ready to go. You can have another view on what's happening here. Once you're situated, just move your arm up and down to connect into shoulder rotation. Be mindful of what feels safe for you here. And then let's get it going. Push your arm back, helper arm comes around. Arm continues to push back as your helper hand cranks it down. Oh. You can be passive on the way back up. The stretch, the floss is occurring on the way down. You can add again your torso. So I'm gonna rotate towards my arm here to get right into that rhomboid a little bit more. Feels really good, but you could also see what happens as you move away. Playing with different angles, hunting around for your sweet spot. Oh, one more. And take a break. Let's finish up with some of these uh, spider dips. Come around onto your stomach. Your legs are gonna be straight out on the floor. I'm just gonna pop it back here so you can see me okay with knees bent. Take your hands pretty wide so they'd be off of your mat, right up onto your fingertips. Elbows spin up towards the sky. 
plug down through all your fingerprints and then lift your head and chest up cobra style. Really use that as leverage to contract across your chest, your lungs, and then dip down for a really nice juicy stretch across your chest. Again, go ahead and lift it on up. Feel the front of your chest active, working, and then lean down into the stretch. It's actually kind of fun. I can use my feet too. <laughs> if you want, you can add a little side to side action. So if I'm turning to the right, I'm getting more floss across my left chest. You turn to your left, you can get a little more across your right chest. Maybe there's a sticky spot you uncover and you wanna just hang out on one side a few reps. That can feel really satisfying. All right, let's come back towards the middle, dip about halfway down and then just do your spidery, juicy, shimmy, shimmy shake. Floss it out in there. Feels good. And then take a break. Press yourself on out of there. And that was your neck and shoulder relief flow.